What's going on boys? It's Mike here back in another video. Today guys we're on some BRM. Today's topic is going to be the PvP side of things, not open world. And it's going to be how to get better and how to become a diamond. So this will also answer like the best weapons to use, what attachments to use, all that jazz. So be sure you guys drop a like on the video if you'd like to see some more. Let's shoot for 300 likes guys. 300 likes. This is a big one. 300 likes guys. I know we could hit it. And also subscribe if you are new. Join the Discord in the description. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section down below. That being said, let's get started. A little quick disclaimer here. If you're already a person that's diamond or you play like another game outside of Roblox and you're really good at it and you're going to go comment, Mike, I already know all this stuff. Well, then just click off the video if you know all this stuff. Then if you want to stay and learn maybe something possibly new, stay tuned, I guess. And um, yeah, I do get a lot of comments sometimes about people saying I already know this stuff on like tutorial videos. And if you already know, there's no reason for you to watch the video. So that out of the way, let's actually get started with this. Alright, so first will be loadouts, and uh, loadouts are pretty important. If you have a poor loadout, you're going to be struggling in PvP. So that being said, the first thing is first, gun that suits yourself, okay? I say that because there's so many people, so many people that come to me and say, Mike, this gun or that gun, I can't tell you a gun that you're going to be good with, okay? I just can't. I could recommend some things, but it doesn't mean that you're just going to be like a god with it. You're going to have to do that yourself, and you're going to have to test things, right? I could help you towards something that'll like say like G36C for example, great gun, but it lacks damage, but its recoil is super good. If you if you struggle with handling recoil, go with the G36C, really helpful there. That's an example, right? That doesn't mean if you start using it, you're gonna become a god, right? That doesn't mean that. You need to start finding weapons that suit yourself, just like in public matches. You probably seen someone say like, "Ooh, what gun is that?" or like, um. Or not something like that they could read the chat but like people would be like oh what gun is the best oh what gun is a god like what's the best weapon to use in uh ranked all these questions are not even like with an answer you can't answer them because there's just no answer there's no specific answer the only answer i could give you is experiment see which gun suits you if it's like a gun that's close range like benelli asvel or like p90 you like running around maybe an smg is for you if you like holding down an area maybe a rifle is for you like there's so many varieties guys and uh to answer your question just go into five on fives go into two on twos those matches do not matter it's where a ranked matters so if you want to experiment go in five on fives two on twos play some matches figure out some attachments people come to me and always be like my what kind of attachments are you using they're so trash and I'm, I'm just there like okay i'm getting kills why are you asking like if it's working for me i'm not going to change it just because so many people don't use my attachments like for example i use a stubby grip that's not really a common i feel like it is a common attachment but it gets hated on for some reason people always tell me vertical or angle is better well in my opinion stubby grip works well for me so i'm gonna stick to it so just things like that guys find things that suit yourself or don't go with what the crowd's going so i'll end it off like that for a loadout all right so for this next one we have game sense and if you guys are unsure what game sense is take for this for example a game like it's not really a game sense it's pretty much games it's either you have it or you don't have it and you could learn throughout if you do work on your pvp you could learn some game sense here so for example it's like it's a two on one and let's just say the enemies have 10 seconds left and you're on defense do you want to take a one on one so it becomes a one on one so you don't have to worry about a two on one or do you want to play for time right because if you're on defense and you're trying to play for time once that uh clock hits zero you'll win the game if you peek and you die before that time hits zero, that's a waste because if there's only 10 seconds left, wait it out and then hope for the time to reach zero. If it doesn't, then oh well, you're gonna have to take the fight. Things like that is like game sense, like knowing when to reload, knowing who to take down first if you see two people. Like who threatens you the most is someone you would take down. That's game sense for yourself. Making adjustments off of certain situations is pretty much what game sense is. It's really kind of hard to explain. All right, so it's like common sense, but in a gamer's mind is pretty much what game sense is. It's very important that you like learn some things like that and uh, if you're unsure of like when to do certain things um check out the streams i do like you'll learn a lot from my pvp videos i'll glad i'll gladly help you out but things like you want to take it slowly by slowly right you want to first of all you want to make sure when you're on offense you got to play against time and when you're on defense you got to play with time okay i want you guys to comment in the comment section down below how many times have you seen like a teammate of yours just like not attack at all if they're on offense and the time ticks out and you lose like i don't understand like there's time that you need to like there's a reason why there's a clock at the top they just don't see it for some reason and they need to understand that like 
Once, if you're playing offense, that time is against you. If you're playing defense, that time is with you. And they don't understand that. And it's just so frustrating seeing that. Once you could master things like that, little small things like that, if you could tweak that in your game and you could work on stuff like that, it's going to help you so much better. And um, I'd recommend playing with some friends. Play with some friends that are better with you. If you play with people that are like better than you, you will become so much better. If you play with people who, if you play with or against, it'll make you better. Regardless, regardless, it'll make you better because you'll learn things from them from watching them. And uh, that's all I could say about game. It's really hard to teach game sense. Like I can't show you every single little thing because every situation's a little different. You get me? But I could show you some little things, and I do have videos on like PVP, and you could watch some of them, and you could understand what I'm doing there and grasp like the concept of what I did. A lot of pro players, and I mean a lot, they will pre-fire spots because they will time it like properly, right? Some of them would just pre-fire just to pre-fire, but some of them time it in their head when someone should be there. That's something I do. I, I pre-fire something that I believe someone's going to be there in that second because I know the map so well. You want to be... You want to know... You want to become an expert at that map. You want to know common corners that people check or like hold down, I should say, rather. Common like mid spots where people would be hiding middle and like where people would be hiding around objective like be an expert at that map and then you'll become so much better because once you find out those common spots in the map you'll become so much better guys so much better all right so for this next one this one's more of a personal one for you guys and this is something you're gonna have to actually like slowly learn you're not gonna learn this overnight you're gonna gradually learn this over time and this is your reaction and mobility if you have poor mobility and reaction time you will suffer so bad because if you're not quick enough, they will out quick you. As in, like, they'll make the faster react. As you guys see, I run with my weapon now. You guys are like, Mike, 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 you're running with your weapon now. What are you, stupid? Well, for me, I, I just, I'm just fast enough to pull out my weapon in time. In most cases, I do die sometimes because I didn't pull it out in time. But in most cases, I am fine, so I like playing with that. That's my playing style. That's how I am. Don't copy what I do if you're not confident in yourself and pulling out that weapon, alright? So, like I said... Find something that suits you, because that's something that suits me. I love running without my weapon out. That's just how I am, alright? You gotta deal with it. It works out for me, so I keep it like that. That's something you guys should also do. If something does not work out for you, stop, like, trying to make it work out for you. You could obviously switch something up in your, like, technique, and it'll become so much better. But if you're working on something, I guess, you could keep going at it till you perfect it. But anyways, um, mobility is so important, guys. You want to make sure that you're checking your corners. You want to make sure that you're just sit your, like your eyes are going everywhere on the map. Don't just look at one spot. Look for any like little movements because those are people laying down or something like that. Work on your mobility, like if you're a slow player and you're like getting out peaked faster, you're gonna have to work on your movement. Work on like shoulder peaking. Work on like laying down, like drop shooting, for example. That's a very popular thing, and it works out very well because a lot of people don't know how to do it. And if you outrange your enemy like that, or like outmaneuver them, that's gonna help you out so much. So you want to work on your movements and work work on your uh, reaction time because the quicker you are, the better you're gonna get at getting more kills. That pretty much wraps it up for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like on it. Join the Discord in the description. Comment down below if you have any questions, and also a little quick tip. Here. try to play with friends play with friends will help you uh with teamwork and getting you to diamond so that's the last tip i have for you and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out